Greetings and salutations from central Louisiana, a few miles west of Dry Prong. This morning I have been working with the drive shaft and the throw out bearing sleeve. I, if some of y'all remember previous discussions, I had to replace or chose to replace the throw out bearing sleeve because the original one was cracked. And even though it wasn't a major crack, it was enough that it got me worried that down the line it might fail. So we decided to replace it. And it came in the parts this week, so this is what we've been working on this morning. Let's go back and look and see where we are. And here we are. This is the piece, the throw out bearing sleeve that I found online for a reasonable price, very reasonable. And I've replaced it. This is the new one, or the new used one that I got. And in working with the rear drive shaft, of course, in the very back here, put a finger and point back in here on this yoke and all, I had to redo the oil seal in the very back. And it meant pulling the carrier, pull the seal out, put a new seal in, then had to take his yoke apart. And then when I took it apart, the rubber bushings in between the pieces there were shot, were corroded, falling apart. So those had to be replaced. And then putting this all back in there is kind of like it's a blind man groping in the dark. It's just feel and see if you can get it to fit. I did have one problem, one of the little retainers was falling apart. It's, it was in good shape on the outer diameter, but the inner innards was busted out, so I put a washer on it. Well, it didn't take but a few tries for me to figure out that the washer needed to be bigger because I was, those bolts that hold the yoke pieces on back here, these bolts right here, are tapered. And I was trying to tighten it down and that washer was catching because it tapered up from one end to the other, so I had to get a bigger washer. Anyway, and you, I'm sure some of y'all love my vice grips hanging on the spring for the throw out bearing return, but hopefully today I'll get the throw out bearing back on and this cross shaft back in here and all this back together so I can start seriously considering tying this tractor back together. For some who've wondered this tractor, somebody went into this tractor before because if you'll note, here is a hole for a locator dowel. But you go over here and all you've got is a dirty spot where that plate's been. But on the opposite side, there's a hole for a locator dowel. Same thing goes for the bottom. You got one here, but on the opposite side over here, you find it. So that tells me somebody went into this engine right here and but when they put this plate back on they reversed it so am i going to change it no i'm just going to do it without the locator dials for those who've never messed with this yoke and all in here on this clutch throw out bearing this is an interesting little washer it's a keeper it's used in a, in a rather than a woodruff key or something else or just a regular key that this is a keeper that goes through this side into here on in between the two two little tongues here and then it sticks back into the shaft and then you put a bolt through it so there's where i'm going give me a few minutes i'll be there and here's the actual throw out bearing and the rest of the assembly that's got to go in here it's not too difficult to get this in when there's no spring on it. When the spring's on, it's a booger. But needless to say, we do with it. We deal with it the best we can what we got. So Hi, it's me again, Margaret, and this new part is when I went to checking it, tried to put it on, put the throw out bearing on the yoke on top of this sleeve carrier but guess what I found out that the sleeve carrier was a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger excuse me than the actual piece that had to go on top of it so 
So you see there where I, where I be on this sleeve, and here's where it be on this. Now it's still a little bit, it's getting closer, because I've done the Rube Goldberg, I took it inside and put it on the belt sander. So some of y'all cringe at the thought of that, but hey, this ain't the space shuttle, so I'm doing pretty well what a normal farmer would have done in the old days, except he probably would have done it for five. A few minutes of polishing on the belt sander, and we have plenty of clearance now. Just to slide as it's supposed to. Now, is this the space shuttle? No. And this is it exact like you could have done in the machine shop? No. But guess what? This will do. This is pretty much in tolerance with all the old farmers would have done. So. That was what the idea is. This has to move back and forth freely here. So we will put this back in and we'll be moving right along. Okay, now it looks like I've got it back in. It seems to have free range of motion. The spring is hooked up. So the next acid test, we'll be putting it back together and see if I can get this clutch to engage with a throw out bearing. I don't want to have to break his tractor again, but if I have to, I will. Anyway, this looks like a golden accomplishment for today. Everything's back together. I still have to put the hydraulic unit back up, but I thought I would wait until I buttoned the tractor up, and then I'll raise it up and put it up. And of course, you gotta hook up the drive shaft to it, which is sitting over in a box, and we will hopefully be close to finished again.